What's up, everyone? I'm going to tell you guys what you guys need to know and also what you guys need to do before uh, contacting USDA about your loans and grants. Okay, what you guys are going to realize is that the USDA lenders are going to give you the runaround if you don't know what you want to do or um, how you want to go about getting the loans. They're going to give you the runaround and they're going to turn you right around. They're going to give you so many excuses of why they can't give it to you. You guys have to come knowledgeable about these things. You can't just come up there and be like, okay, I want to apply. I'm going to tell me what else to do. Right? It'll only get you so far. Uh, this this is also a lot of reason why the USDA requires uh, appointments before giving out the loans or before even making the application available. They want to make sure that you at least have an idea of what you want to do, right? So the first thing you guys want to know what you guys want to do, right? And the second thing is knowing how long it's going to take. And the third thing is, is how you plan on paying them back. Okay, so the first thing, obviously, is knowing what you want to do, and that's what type of operation when you have on your operation you want to have on your farm, or what you know your your goals are with this farm or with this new land that you bought. What's your goals? Um, second thing is how long is it going to take uh, to get everything together, right? How long is it going to take to start building fences? You know, plowing plots of land, uh, building a house. They want to know these time constraints so that you can. You know, so they, they can have a better picture of um of basically your, your transaction history with them. Um, and uh, the third one is how you plan on paying them back. Truthfully, uh, the USDA doesn't really care if you pay them back through the farm or if you have a job too or during that time. They just want to know how you plan on giving, giving us some money back that we lent you, right? So if you think about those three things, they're able to come up with a really good clause or some type of uh, business plan or like a small business plan, you'll be more successful. Though for the few guys who are just looking to, to go get a farm and do nothing with it, just to have the land and not do anything with it, I'm going to be honest with you, you're probably not going to get the loan um, as fast or even if you do want it, you know. So you're going to have to have some type of plan when you come to them because they are giving you probably the best deal on just buying land and honestly give you a loan that's going to be zero percent down uh and honestly a low interest rate one to ten percent interest rate honestly lower than ten percent because i haven't seen anyone even get a ten percent interest rate but um yeah you're gonna have to at least do something on your part which is just knowing what you want to do and that's it really just have a plan the reason why you guys want a plan is because it'll help you guys um and further uh um have further knowledge of what you guys can do on your on your land right so as a farmer you have to treat it like a business or you have to at least treat it like you know it's work because it is it's not just um you know it's not just like a bigger plot of land that that you don't do do anything with you can but that's when you're going to realize that you are going to start losing money because if you don't have if your land is not making money from you somehow or you know you aren't buying or if, or if you are buying your land with you know um a passive income then it's not damaging you but if you're buying this land through a loan service through usda and you're not um you're not doing anything with it you're gonna lose money in the long run so that's why it's important to at least have an idea or have some type of uh plan of what you guys want to do with the land it'll take uh so how long it'll take that's gonna be uh, based on operation that you want, right? The plan that you want, what, what are you guys going to do? Like uh, a cattle operation, you can probably get that up running in honestly six to eight months. It's not going to take long for that. And uh, uh, I guess your changeover for profitability, if you're really working at it, will be relative in that eight month mark where you, you're going to see a difference. You're going to you're going to be able to, you know, uh, you know, sell your cattle and start making profit from them. Um, but really anything else, you're going to have to research and do your own research on it because um, there's there's plenty, 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 plenty of things to do uh, uh, on a farm. There's different operations you run. There's a plethora of different things. So 
Um, when it comes to knowing exactly what the time constraints are, you're going to have to research that and figure it out of what's best for your, uh, your farm and when you think you're going to be profitable. Um, I thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for just tuning in. Um, follow me on my uh, TikTok and on my Instagram at Farmer Mills. Um, also, visit my website. I do consultations and I sell merch there. So if you guys are really interested in getting your own farm or you have your own farm or just looking for you know, more means of funds or information about your farm and what you can do for it, I actually uh, give those services. I give um, consultation services. Um, uh, as I said, also some of my merch too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, go ahead and visit my website at Norma's Basket. I'll have it in the description below. So like and subscribe and don't forget, scare money, don't make money. Thank you.